everybody welcome to my channel thrifting adventures i am so excited because we are on a road trip today we are on our way to centralia to meet george the antique nomad all right here we go This is downtown Centralia. So the cool thing about this town of Centralia, it has antique malls and thrift stores all along down this street. It is no, well known for all the antique malls in this little town of Centralia, Washington, and we're gonna check some of them out. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, these are so cute. I've never seen pink little chickens. Oh, look at their faces. <laughs> there's books. That's a cool graphics. Like oh, there's me. Hello. <laughs> you find something, Mateo? Oh, the eyes are kind of creepy. Blue eyes. So this whole booth is Christmas. Oh, look at how cute. There's a candle. Which one are you going to get? This one. Show them what you like. Archie? Okay. Mateo, are you going to get one? No. <laughs> now, what kind of person buys a cat like this that looks like a human being? <laughs> oh my God. There's something disturbing about that. Yeah, something disturbing. Oh, and then we have a clown. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the cat. Oh my. <laughs> This clown is having a rough life. He's looking kind of beat up. Okay, I see what it is now. Yeah, it does look like it's from Disneyland, huh? There's a little collie. We have a collie. Yeah, nobody Well, here's Salt and Pepper Shaker Central. done with that antique mall and now we're gonna walk down the block to this thrift store me and the boys and George and it's a beautiful day today we got so lucky usually it rains around this time but today it's clear skies oh There's some little ornaments in here. Oh, this Santa's 
having fun. like this game? Did you guys want to play this? Box of Lies is brand new. Sealed. Uh, can you tell the points bluffing about the weird image in their mystery box? <laughs> it seems stupid. No? It sounds like the kind of thing that Is it? Ten. So we're in the Lewis County Historical Museum in Chehalis. And this museum is actually quite big. Wow, look at this. Half of a lady. Beautiful pieces. Pictures of Mount St. Helens and mountains. Some art made from the ashes of Mount St. Helens volcano, which famously erupted back over 40 years ago, uh, around 40 years ago. Oh, hello. <laughs> And here we have a room celebrating all the beautiful Native American baskets, and accessories. Oh, look at those beautiful shoes. They must have taken so much work to make. And these are from the Cowlitz tribe. Some beautiful purses and handbags and more baskets. Everything's so intricate. Beautiful collection of arrowheads. I didn't know there was that many kinds. All different sizes and colors. So this used to be the Pleasant View School Bell. It is huge. Schoolhouse closed to consolidate with other schools in the Centralia area in 1930. Some really old photographs. Looks like the eight, late 1800s. That guy's got an amazing mustache. Look at this family here. Oh, that makes sense because there oh, would Japanese. have been a lot of uh, Japanese people who emigrated here who wouldn't have spoken English back then. Yeah. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a video of the train going by outside. Wow, wow look at this model, this train model. This is huge. Yeah, it says seesaw, hold button down. <laughs> I don't know if it does anything. It is. There's Smokey the Bear and then there's a dead bear. <laughs> That is cool. Chuck Wagon, it says. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This is so creepy. This is a real iron lung. <laughs> they have the mannequin wearing a mask. Wear those masks, people. Look at this. This is an iron lung. It was originally donated to Lewis County by the Twin City of Central Labor Union in 1941. Wow. Can you imagine being stuck in one of these things? That is crazy. Wow. Next stop is this thrift store called Dibbles. This was a great mom and pop thrift store. Uh, the interesting part about this thrift store, a lot of the items were not priced. So you had to take the items up to the cash register to ask what the price was. And they quickly gave you a price on each item. If items were priced, they were very reasonably priced. There were items that were only 50 cents each, 25 cents each. So this was a great little thrift store that George uh, took me to. We had a lot of fun shopping in it, and we found What's some amazing that? deals. Oh, electronics. This is where electronics go to die. <laughs> it's bringing back memories. I feel like I had one of these boom boxes when I was a teenager. It's cool. This is a saw that someone hand painted and made into a clock oh yeah the cross cut blade wow that's creative pieces and they would have been you see the one has the diamond in it um, they would have been to put on the table during bridge games, and usually they'd have a little handful of nuts, or oh, okay. so you could use them as salt dips, or mm -hmm. sometimes if they have an indentation, they're actually little ashtrays from back when people had unfiltered cigarettes that were really short.
All right, we just spent the whole day with George and we had so much fun. We did so much shopping. Oh, that was awesome hanging out and going to all the thrift stores and antique malls. I hope you guys had a good time watching. And if you love this video, I'd love a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos of mine, subscribe to my channel. All right, all right. thanks. Bye, everyone.